so far we have created this entire application with few JS and we have really done nothing using Laravel except for using the mix to compile our Vue.js application. Now what we are going to do is set up the authentication scaffolding that we get along with Laravel which handles our login, our registration and we should make this app available only to the logged in user. Okay, so the first thing which we would like to do is in Visual Studio do php artisan make auth it makes a few changes to our application we can quickly go through them if you see it adds these routes okay it adds an app.blade.php it has some you know, blade files home login register and it has a controller to take care of the home or the dashboard all right, so let's look at the source or rather the application, what has happened to it. Nothing has changed in here, but if we look at the app.play.php, it has a navigation. So what we will do is let's quickly scaffold, sorry, rather arrange a few things. We don't need assets here. So inside views will create a folder called partials and in that we will have a file as nav.blade.php and then why don't we take this entire thing and put it here with this done we will do include layouts sorry partials dot nav okay so what we are trying to do here is make this <coughs> app.blade.php or layout file and the welcome blade will turn into a normal view okay so first we need to comment it out we'll take this remove everything and say extends that's inside layouts app okay so we have this here let's do something like my video manager okay now why section content because we are yielding it here okay and I have removed the router and we'll need to show it here in the home page so in the card rather why don't we just remove the card okay and have the router placed here okay let's see so we have a na navigation panel we have login okay we have register that's fine and this is our home page um, which is welcome i think i can do mx auto oh the container is missing is it yes okay um, anyways I'll look at it later I mean you will find it in the source code anyways so the only thing which I will do right now is add a container here okay so this is our video manager and we have you know welcome blade which is kind of simplified into this small blade file our home is also extending layouts welcome is extending layout and this is our nav okay uh, a big chunk of code all right now one more thing what i would like to do is in here 
Let me clear this. This is a closure. I would want ideally everything to come through a controller because when I try to do something like PHP Artisan, uh, it was what is that command? Route cache. Yes, route cache. What it will complain is you know that we should not have closures. Okay, so API is something which we need to take care, but we should not have any closure closures. So what I will do is PHP artisan make controller guest controller and then just take this here okay so things are working now the question is why do we do this reason is you know when when our application is ready uh, to be you know published on a server uh, there are certain performance optimizations which we need to do few of them will be you know uh, caching the configs caching the routes and everything's because you know otherwise it will have to read the route every time load the file do a Quite a few things whereas you know laravel gives us certain performance benefits out of the box and we need to use them so this is part of that um, api.php is still a closure which we need to you know handle later on that we will do uh, but yeah this is our first step so we have you know this in here but we need to log in and uh, you know, see the dashboard but we don't have anything in here as you no know, login so let's quickly set that up i have a database uh, if you see i have video underscore manager and in my env i have set that up my uh, application name let's call it video manager uh, okay and database name username password is blank i'll just spin up the server once more after changing my envs so with this what we will try to first do is um, inside database migrations i'll add one more field which is a boolean is active and its default value will be zero so which means any user i would typically want it to be active by doing something instead of you know directly being able to create a account in this application okay so now this migration is done now we have the user factory in which i'll have is active by default it should be one in a factory i would want it to be one and then inside the database cedar let's have a factory instance app user class create so i'll add these fields name email and his active will be one okay why don't we also create a few random users mm, i'll add 10 okay so these are done now I'll do PHP artisan migrate refresh seed okay and my short form for this is MRS so I'll do that let's go here refresh users all right I'm able to do that so and now I'll try to log in and I'm in the dashboard and you can see our application is here 
okay we have three videos in here within the dashboard and let's quickly see what is happening so the blade file is home.blade.php this is our route right and if i click on any video i'm here inside this part which is fine slash home right so this is how we have you know, been able to get our basic scaffolding done and now what will happen is if I log out my route is saved by this you know, authentication and so no one can by default start using the application they need to log in they should have a username password to do that which we are you know, creating using the seeder right now and later on we will look at you know, things like registrations and other things so yeah that's you know, the first piece in terms of looking at future um, functionalities on this application if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel